you know. But today's supposed to be a holy day. And the fact that keep running fake narratives and fake numbers on the coronavirus is just really disappointing. It's very disappointing. It's very disrespectful to people that actually believe in fundamental of a religion. So that should tell you something, America. You want a president that runs your country? Then you need to find one. You want a president that has your point of view? Then you need to find one. See, this is what happens when you don't have a, you can't commit to something. See, because today is about Jesus Christ. But what about the American citizens here that believe in Islam? What is it about? So what do we do? I can tell you the first thing we're going to stop doing. We need to stop doing as a country is lying and fake news and all this other fucking shit. Because that's what gets people killed. That's what gets people hurt. That's what causes, that's what causes this whole ordeal. Why? People doing something and not letting somebody know. Now, as it stands right now, nobody can run for president right now. We got to fix wait, voter stuff. We're not going to have another debacle where people are attacking each other because of who they voted for. There are going to need to be strict guidelines that, you know, voting's anonymous. You have to register to vote. You have to prove identity. There's not going to be any more unless, unless you're elderly, mail in your voting. You're going to have to hit it. It is your, that is not hard to get up and go physically go vote. It, it doesn't take much t time. You should feel privileged to be able to do that. Now, here we are on a holy day. It doesn't matter if it's a Christian holiday or Islam or any of these other holidays. And to continue to see false narratives be reported. That should tell you something. There's no human part into that. It's all digital. The fact that you're still they're still pushing the corona narrative, here's the deal. If New York needs money for something, then let's give New York money for something. But see, the thing is, is, most Americans can't see where everything's out of whack. It's a Rubik's Cube. Things are just shifted different in, in the camp. And see, the thing is, is we keep, I keep reaching out and saying, hey, take your country back. Step up and build something. But sooner or later, it has to stop. So all we can do is this. What happened to all the people that were like, screw Donald Trump, he's not doing his job, he's not doing this, he's not doing that. I mean, the only thing that seems to be reporting that Donald Trump's not doing anything on the right time schedule is, is the news. And that's the problem. All the news except maybe one broadcasting, and that's going to be local here in Tulsa, actually uses real live people. So, I'm telling you right now, a person that wants to win a vote and a person that wants to win an election, why don't you try telling the truth? Why don't you step out of the realm? I mean, come on. Is it's you can see, I know you can see that it doesn't matter what I say, no one listens. But see, why don't you step out and be a person that does it the right way and says, Hey, we got we gotta fix this. This is what's going on, and this is what we gotta do. And then get the attention of everybody on a, a day like today where it can mean something. You know, not only can it mean something for people that want to believe in something spiritual, but you also give fundamentally for people that believe in other things 
some foundation. Because even though you may, even though there there are American citizens that may not believe in what today is, spirituality is never based off of fact, anyways. I mean, religion's not based off of fact, and if you think so, you're a fool. But believing in something better than what it can be, there's nothing wrong with that. That that, that that's having faith. That's having hope. But right now, we don't need that. We need stability. We need foundation. We, and obviously, nobody listens to me. Why? Because even people in my own family, people in my own community, think that for some reason, do not believe that a person of my stature, the way I look, could be the person with the right answer. I understand that. But I also know this. I think it's very disrespectful. No matter what faith that you believe in. To continue to fill the airways in TV and media with false narratives. That's very disrespectful to the American people. It's very, di I mean, that's disrespectful, period. Let's not even get into the spiritual religion part of this. Now, this next election, who cares who's running? Donald Trump's going to have to stay president. America needs today to be about foundation. Not about hope. Not about future. But about today. And today needs to be about being able to step out on a foundation and see where we have to build. But we can't do that running an old virus shit, fake numbers, all this other fear and decorative stuff. You know? A lot of things need to come to the surface today. No task force not putting together this. It needs to happen today. And I'll tell you why. What other day should it be? Do we keep pu pushing it down the line? Why don't you make today a permanent day? See, here's the deal. Easter keeps changing months or days. That's bullshit. You, you, want, you want people to have something to believe in. Give them a foundation. Give them a day that's structured. You know, the 25th was his birthday. But yet, what day did he die? Did you tell me that? See, no one's ever questioned that. When he's reborn, you know, when he's came. But what day did Jesus die? Answer me that. Out of all these years, all these people in philosophy, no one's ever asked, what day did Jesus die? Because like when you have a loved one die, there's an anniversary date for that. So I ask you this. Why don't you make today a foundation day? It needs to be today about truth, closure, rebirth, foundation. Today needs to be a day. That they actually see me. It's kind of weird being the only person that I've ever not been around that's ever questioned what day did Jesus die? Because Easter always moves it's weird that makes me that doesn't mean that I don't think that anything's possible but you know you celebrate somebody's birthday and you cover it up with Santa Claus and people are okay with that 
And then you don't give him a definitive date for his death to honor the day he died. You honor the day that's not even the same day or the same month, rarely, that he came back. So why don't we make today about fundamentals, about rebuilding and society. So, you know, you can't change the Ten Commandments. You can't do any of that shit. You can't do anything because some people cling on to that. But you know what you can do today? You can start telling the truth and be factual and build a factual day that anybody of any spirituality or religion or culture can honor. That uh, this day always stay marked in the calendar. You know? Instead of another task force and more bullshit lies. And that to me that's disrespectful. And you know what? It doesn't matter what I believe in because my personal views are my personal views. My personal spirituality is my personal spirituality. But it's very disrespectful to a nation of people that believe in many different things. If you're going to disrespect one religion or spirituality and you're not going to be truthful on a day it's supposed to be holy, that then why would any religion? There is no freedom of religion then. See, that's what people need to ask is, why can't this day be a day where everybody's not resurrection, but the death of everybody's faith doesn't mean it goes away. It just means that everybody has the exact same day for the exact same reasons. Just different path, just different walk of life, different culture, different views. But as Americans, it is a day for mourning. And then it branches off into whatever you want it to be. But today needs to be a day of facts. Today needs to be a day of eye-opening things. And it needs to be a day that we bury the hatchet. We cut whatever you want to do. Cut down the cherry. Whatever you got to do. But today has to be the day. Everybody's religion or spirituality, whatever they believe in, that isn't resurrected. It dies today. There has to be an ending to be a new beginning. And why, like I said, why cannot today always be the same day throughout history in the calendar? As Americans, religion, whatever it was, it died today as an anniversary date. But tomorrow starts anew. And then you actually have freedom of spirituality, freedom of religion, freedom to be able to believe in what you want to believe in. And it's protected under your constitutional rights and under everything else as an American. That means that nobody can be judged. That means you look out across and you don't blame Muslims for other stuff. And Jews don't blame this. You actually have a day structured in government on a calendar. Based off of fact. It's the only way you can accommodate everybody. Is everything has in religion has to die today. And everything false has to die. And it has to be revealed. And you have to do that. And yes, it'll hurt people. Yes, it'll bother people. Yes, it'll cause problems. But the only way to advance forward... For growth is through pain and suffering and through disbelief and through mourning and through understanding 
that today all religions should die and be reborn again the next day. And then they're protected. And nobody gets a special day. We all get to take off what whatever day. You know, nobody's forced to do anything and either rejoice or you mourn or you just do what you do. But that in itself is church and that in itself is spirituality and that, that is a choice. And that's something that has to happen. That is the first foundation block that unites the whole fucking world. doesn't end a race. It doesn't end a culture. It ends mistakes and days that never have an ending. For some reason, they just keep resurrecting. They just don't ever tell you the day they end. And you really have to look at stuff. You know, Christmas. If that's Jesus' birthday, why are we disrespecting it with Santa Claus? I mean, those are the things we have to look at. Those are the things that divide us the most. Is Jesus' birthday going to be a day about money? Or is it going to be a day about spirituality? I mean, the Jews celebrate Hanukkah, and there's a lot of stuff, and that's it's things that you have to look at. My philosophy is, is nothing wrong with Santa Claus going away. Kind of creepy, a dude, you know, and this is the thing. We got enough superheroes. We got enough shit breaking into our house. We got enough shit that doesn't exist that you're scared of. But you can't have the Easter Bunny and Jesus on the same day. Because it's a mockery of each other. Saying... Neither one is real. So today needs to be a day that all religions, no matter what faith, died. You take the other bullshit out of it. And you just make it be what it is. And then you don't label it as a holiday or anything. You don't make it about hunting Easter. I mean, if you want to do that in your own home, then you do that. But you got to stop targeting people because what it does, if you don't respect the building blocks of spirituality and something that is being preached as being real and true, and then you mock it, there's a problem. Like I said, today needs to be a day where things die and facts come to the surface. And like I said, some people it'll hurt. It, it, it'll, it'll cause a lot of problems. But it, it's problems that we need to do to move forward. Because right now, the American people have no clue what to do. They don't listen. Everything is mocked. See, no matter what I say or do, it's always going to twist and turn, and it's never going to be the right time. But see, no, here's the thing. I think it's pretty fucking shitty. You know, somebody disrespected my uncle on the day he, he was dead. I would beat the shit out of somebody. So that's kind of what today has to be. It has to be a day where religion dies. The facts come out. And you have to understand, Trump is going to be in office, but we have to fix these things as a country, as a whole, so our next election after this, it can be the one that counts.
people need to know that when you vote, it's anonymous. You need you need to show up to vote. You know, it's not going to do any good to tear Washington down if we don't tear Congress down in each state. And that's what needs to happen. You know, the fact that Congress can, can hide who they are and all this stuff. No. If you're going to be in political office, here's the deal. Get ready not to have any privacy because the American people demand transparency and here's the deal. See, right now, the American people need all religions to die and need a foundation basis to step forward. They need to hurt. They need to see that they're not correct. They need to see just where we're at and what we're dealing with. And I can tell you this. It doesn't matter what virus. It doesn't matter anything. There's always going to be that stuff. But to get today to be a day that men, I mean, here's the deal. All it takes is somebody with balls and integrity, like I keep saying. It's very disrespectful. And you know what, Trump? You could go down in history. As being the man that had the balls to say you're fired to all religions, you're fired to all of Congress, you're fired to everybody. And me and you can stand and balance the scales, two different sides of the spectrum, two different walks of life, two characters. Because there's nobody that can tell us otherwise. You know, reporters want something to report about. Let's give them something to report about. The facts. You know, here's the deal. Why are you asking us questions? Why aren't you asking the public questions? See, everybody wants to ask questions because they have an agenda. But you don't see any reporters turning around asking the American people. Hey, what about this? Today's the day religion dies. And it stays on the calendar the same day. You can't jump around anymore. We have too many people with two different faiths. And today needs to be a day based on fact and foundation. And you know what? It doesn't matter what position you're setting in office right now. If you're not Donald Trump, and Mike Pence, and myself, you're all fired. And you know what, Trump? What show the world? That man with integrity and balls, just because we look different, we have to respect a death. All religions are going to die on the day, and the holiday is going to stay the same. And then we base everything factual and the foundation off of that. And here's the deal this election's screwed, anyways. And we get everything in place and in law that says you have to have certain things and it's not Republican or Democrat or independent. It's two businessmen understanding it has to be this way because that way it's not about money. It's not about votes. It's about respecting Americans have a right to mourn a loss and a death. But it also gives a way to have all religions branch out the next day and 
whatever they want out of respect for being American. And then we work our way up. We're going to have to. Only way it can be. And that's what all of the veterans that we've lost, all the men, fallen soldiers and everybody we've lost and everybody, they deserve that respect. I mean, every time something's fake and every time it's lied, it's pushed off. It's just disrespect to them. And I will no longer stand for it. It's no longer, like I said, two men, three men, start out, whatever. But it starts today. We have to show them. Because the only way this country is going to keep from going back to the way it was. We have to show them how far off, how wrong, how blind, how fucked, and how off their mindset is. I don't care about the virus. I don't care about that. But we have a job to do. And it's our job as Americans... If you have the ability and the knowledge of what needs to happen, is to do it. But see, the problem is, when everything mocks you and does the exact opposite and you lo- you don't have control of those things anymore, because of big corporations and money, because they're covering their ass, I'm just reaching out and asking I don't care that I'm missing teeth. I don't care I'm covered in tattoos. What I do care about is we're disrespecting people. And that is not American. And I... So like I said, Trump... It's not about being president. It's about being present. And when you're present and you see what needs to be done, real men, real businessmen... Jump in and do it because I'm not going to let anybody take away my dream, my vision, my credit, my anything. Neither are you. It's time for America to begin. (laughs) 